Good morning. Actually, good night. Actually, I don't know. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, hello. Hi, I'm Damo, and today I'm gonna do a spit paint while reviewing the Midnight Gospel because it's a great cartoon and I wanted to talk about it immediately. Like, a zap. Now. Uh, ora. <laughs> and now I feel enlightened. So, The Midnight Gospel is an animated series on Netflix directed by Pendleton Ward, which maybe you know, it's the creator of the famous cartoon series Adventure Time. So, what's interesting about The Midnight Gospel? Well, first of all, it's not fully scripted. It's animated over podcasts, hosted by Duncan Trussell, where he interviews amazing people that share their view in life. So, what does the animation tell us then? Well, the main protagonist is Clancy Gilroy, a wonder over yonder wannabe in the style of Adventure Time. Okay, just kidding. He's a space caster who is in search of new people to interview. He searches them through his computer and simulation, where he just pops his head in? Does that? Wait, 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 does that look like... You know what, never mind. So, he enters in this simulator, simulation, right? Where he gets on the planet he chooses. The cartoon shares with us many realities and it catap catapults you straight in, directly into it. Right from the first episode, I felt my head explode with how much information the cartoon gave me. Since I'm Italian, I began watching it dubbed and I couldn't understand a single thing. One tip for you all, if we're going to watch it after the video, you probably know English, right? Yeah, if you're watching me, you'll probably know it. So go watch it in English. At least in English with subs. Dubs don't work for this type of cartoon. Believe me. At first I couldn't understand why the two characters will often overlap their talking. The reason is because it's a real interview. Not fiction, it's not scripted, which is genius in my opinion. The cartoon at the moment doesn't follow a real storyline, if not for some moments where Clancy's sister calls, or his number one fan's dad wants to kill him. <laughs> Good times. But one thing that this cartoon follows, it's one big topic, which is enlightenment. En enlightenment, nah. Enlightenment. But not only that, well, mainly that, but the characters, or we should call them guests, talk about a variety of experiences that go from birth to death, from hate to love, and people talk about Rick and Morty being very deep, but try to reach this level of deep, dude, try to reach it, it's deeper than deep. In fact, I would recommend you to lay down without any distractions and watch it with a lot of attention. And maybe watch it twice instead of once. Watch the whole season twice. The cartoon is fun overall, the style is unique. Even though I'm not a real fan of multicolored cartoons, I liked it and it all felt right. Even though the colors may kill your sight at first, you get used to it and the scenarios are memorable. And you cry. You cry a lot. <laughs> I like the fact that when Clancy interviews his guest, everything around him just happens. There's a sub-story to the main story, and it's happening all at once. Everything happens all at once, like in real life. So I think it's a metaphor as well. <laughs> yeah. So the characters are aliens, obviously, but they're humane. They share with us, the viewers, They're human feelings and human stories. And they also go around something higher than humanity. They talk about meditation as a way of giving yourself answers. They talk about Buddhism. They talk about God. They're a little bit explicit in everything. And they talk about topics that even I couldn't understand since I'm young. I didn't mm, experience a lot of things. But in my personal opinion, this cartoon helped me a lot. 
I struggled with a few things in my life and this cartoon helped me a little bit to come out of my black void and embrace the events that happened in my life, in our lives. This cartoon teaches you a lot of interesting things. Oh, and Clancy collecting shoes? It's something that I thought about over the episodes. My own explanation to this is Clancy wants a souvenir from the planet he visits. And the shoes symbolize a path you've made in your life. And they also symbolize where, where you're going to. Shoes are part of our lives. <laughs> they take you anywhere you want and they share with you a great story. Like the ones that the various characters share. At the moment there is only one season of the cartoon since it came out recently, in April I believe, but I'm intrigued by it. I'd love to see it continue, but other than the possible amazing guests they could invite, I'd love to know more about Clancy, because in the end he doesn't get a lot of attention. I'd ask myself, why does he live all by himself in a caravan? Why does he have this anxious relationship with his sister. Why does he have a skirt and a magician hat? I want to know more about this character and the world around him. He's such a goof sometimes, <laughs> I swear to god. But overall I, I like the protagonist. He's fun, he's not obnoxious, he's great. He deals with a lot of anxiety as I see it and with depression. So I would love for the cartoon to dive more into that. That would be really interesting. So yeah, I would totally recommend this cartoon. If you're feeling a little bit lonely or if you're feeling lost and you want to know about these people, then go ahead and watch it. It's not your typical cartoon. You can't be, uh, you can't have a kid's mind with this cartoon. You can't be distracted with this cartoon. You, you may need to follow their thoughts and all. So yeah, it's a serious cartoon, but at the same time it's enjoyable and it's really nice to watch. And it makes you cry. <laughs> it makes you cry a lot. Or at least in the last episode, it made me cry, okay? It made me cry. The last episode, <laughs> Clancy meets his mom. With his mom, and they, they talk about life and death and embracing death, and I cry, and oh my god! So, yeah, it's new, it's out there, go watch it. It's, it's great, it's great. So, if you liked my video, if you would like to see more of these pit paints with reviews or something, go ahead and subscribe, please, please subscribe! Subscribe to my channel, leave a like. Share it with your friends, and if you subscribe, turn off, turn on, <laughs> oh my god. And if you subscribe, turn on the bell notification, it will be great. And thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I've become enlightened. God, I, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about uh, Buddhism, and... Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful.